Hello, I'm Blue, and today I'll be doing something a little bit different for my videos. I'll be drawing your characters in my art style. So the way I chose the characters for this video was I made a hashtag called Blue's Redraw, and I asked you guys to tag your characters in there. And then I went through the hashtag and I found characters that I liked, and I'm going to try drawing them in my art style. But before I start, today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where anyone can discover, take, or even teach a class such as digital art, photography, graphic design, and so much more. Though Skillshare doesn't just offer classes on the creative fields, they also offer career-focused classes to help you follow your creative dreams and build the careers that best fits you. As artists and creatives, a lot of us would like to be able to start a career in the creative field, be our own bosses and discover new possibility career-wise. The one thing I still struggle with is that I'm a heavy procrastinator and I find myself daydreaming more than I'm actually doing work. And I'm losing track of time and deadlines and projects. And then I leave everything for the last minute and end up having a lot of burnout. A class that gave me a lot of insight is a class called Productivity and Time Management, where I learned how to sort and manage projects I had to do, how to organize my schedule to fit me, and how to build good habits that stick. There are so many career-focused classes on all types of topics like creative confidence and silence your inner critic. This one's actually really eye-opening, definitely recommend. Personal projects to build your portfolio and get the gigs you want, build a creative career full-time or freelancers, and so many more. It's always fun to learn new and interesting things, whether that just be hobbies or build a career. Skillshare was kind enough to offer the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get one month free. Thank you again to Skillshare and now onto the video. Going into this video, I really wanted to pick the characters that gave off different vibes. Emphasis on tried. I ended up picking two characters with wings on their head and before that I had three characters with horns and a crazy look in their eye. So obviously those are the kind of characters that catch my eye but I really wanted to try drawing something that's not like typical my art kind of <laughs> going so uh, I had to redraw this like again. I'll be mentioning the original artist before I draw them and if this video does well and you'd like to submit a character, I'll have the rules and hashtag linked down below. So the first character I chose is this very bright OC, her name is Eleanor. This character consists out of a lot of yellows and warm tones and she's overall just a very soft character. The artist did a good job with showing this with the roundness of her features, like her eyes and her floofiness of her hair. And I just knew I wanted to draw her because like she looks like a sunflower and yellow is one of my favorite things to like shade because you can go with like a pink and an orange and then purple and i think it would have gone like really nicely it contrasts the other characters that you'll see i'll draw like the more darker ones so her eyes are definitely the main feature i noticed about her so redrawing her i really wanted to give her like big eyes looking at the viewer kind of giving her this innocent look and for that, I made the main focus the eyes, so you can see I spent most of my time drawing the eyes. I also really adore the tiny little flowers added to her hair. I think it's a very smart way to break the wings from like the hair, so like it's not just like directly coming out of her head. It's got like a little bit of a color breakage. I just, I think that was a really nice touch. Going into the colouring, I was very excited since yellow is a fun colour to shade. I could go ham with the pinks and oranges and I really just want to make her as vibrant as I can and kind of show off this innocent fire kind of character because like on her reference sheets she is like wielding fire so I'm guessing she's cute but also fierce. So now I'm going into the details and the shading. This is just me going in and like choosing where I want to add like extra colours and extra funk. At first I had the colors too dark and not as pink as, as I wanted them, so I go in and change the colors and I change it to more pink, bright, to kind of like make the hair pop. So even throughout the entire drawing, like even her wings and her clothes have a more pink hue for shading and then I add some purples here and there just to make that, like that pink pop. At the end, I do this thing where I make a copy of the line art and then I make that copy, I blur it, and then that makes the character look very soft 
I think it looks really cool. I like the way the halo effect suited this character and it ended up doing it for the rest of the characters as well since this is the first one I drew. Overall, I think the final drawing looks really nice. I like the way she looks and yeah, I hope you guys like it too. Now onto the next character. This is probably the one that I was most excited to draw. It's this Jester character. I love them the most because her design has the most things going on. From her hat, to her little suit, to the patterns, and I just knew she was going to be a lot of fun and a lot of details to add, and yeah. Hopping into the drawing, I really wanted to bring that shy, mischievous look she has on the reference and kind of push it a little, a little bit. So I make her turning her head, looking to the side, like she's kind of like shrugging, like I don't know what that means. Kind of like a gesture with like joking around the things. She looks like a mischievous character. I'm not 100% sure on her character traits, but yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to go for. Also, her hair is very interesting. There's a lot going on, a lot of like pieces. So getting to translate that into my style, those are very cool. So coming into the coloring, because of her color palette being primarily purple, I wanted to mix the colors purple and pink and really have those two be the main colors in the color palette. So like her skin is pink and there's like some pink tones here and there. So use a bright purple to shade her skin and then move on to the rest using more bright saturated colors to shade like every individual, individual color. At this point of the drawing, I'm really liking the way she looks. I think she looks really cute. I noticed she doesn't have any eyebrows, because I forgot them. So I go in and give her some eyebrows later, don't worry. At this point, I'm also really hoping that I don't make her look too muddy, because I normally paint my pieces, so going in and doing just a base color really neatly without making it look like a mess is very difficult for me, and she's got a lot of details. So I was kind of like sweating, I was like, oh no. But in the end, it looks fine. I find shading really relaxing to watch. In the moment I'm thinking, well, I draw so fast and the speed paint is gonna be really fast and whatever. And then I go back and I look at like my recordings. I'm like, oh, I'm drawing really slowly. Like it's not as fast as I thought it would be. But I add a few different colors in there. Like it's not just one shading color. I do like a pink as well to really like, it makes it more saturated, I guess, like more depth to it. So I shaded with a purple because her main color is purple, but I also, like I said, wanted to add that pink. So the purple kind of sits in like this pink purple kind of hue. Yeah. So for me, coloring a sketch or just coloring something that's line arted is not something that I've ever worked on. So it is a very weak point for me in art and it is something that I really wanted to get better at. So these were good practice, but I was really nervous going into it. I was like, I don't know if this is going to look okay. I think they look alright, like they could have looked better with rendering, but I wasn't going to do that. But yeah, they were really good practice. Overall, I really love the way this piece came out. I think I should not have blurred the line art for this one. It kind of doesn't really suit her character, but in general, I think I can pay attention to that next time, um, but yeah. So I hope you all like it, and now on to the next character. Okay, so now we're on to the final character. Of course, I needed to do at least one edge character in this drawer your character thing, because like, I love edgy characters, I love them if they have a little like, spice to them. Uh, so I picked this guy. His reference sheet really caught my eye because like he's got this like really mysterious face, kind of edgy looking face. He's got horns, which I really like too. And it kind of contrasts because he's got a really edgy face and then he's got this like really cute outfit on. And I was like, I like this. This looks cool. I really want to try drawing this. So here's this guy. So I focus more on the sketch in this section of the video because I was stupidly ran out of storage on my iPad and I didn't record. 
like I was recording, but it didn't record because I didn't have storage. So my iPad is like, I'm recording, but I'm not gonna save this. So I was like, oh damn. And before that, I had redrawn this. Well, not redrawn. I had recolored this like four times at this point. So I was like, I can't do this again. <laughs> You're just gonna have to like appreciate the sketch. And then at the end, you can see like the little recording of what the the coloring looks like. But if you stick away to the right to the end, you can see me like recolor this thing like four times if you're interested in seeing that. One thing about my sketching, I feel like I've really improved. I'm like laying out things without having to do a very rough base sketch for it. I used to really struggle with that, where like my sketching would take me forever because I'd be like hyper focused on like first layer, second layer, third layer of sketching and I've been practicing a lot more just like putting down what's in my head and that's helped a lot so these sketches were really enjoyable for me which is not normally something that I like to do like sketching is a thing that I used to dislike the most and I was like I want to get this over to go to coloring and now I'm like I just want to sketch I don't want to color anymore <laughs> So if you know my art, you know that I really like to do crazy looks and I really want to try pushing that with this and because I'm using a pencil and I knew that like this would look really grungy and on edge and I, that's kind of what I was looking for so sketching this I had a lot of fun and I was like I could just leave it at the sketch and it would be great but I colored the rest of them so I had to color this one. For the coloring. I really wanted to do a gradient, so dark and then light. So darker from his head down to the light, like he's looking down at something. And you know, they're like saying in books, it's like his eyes darkened like that. So, well, that's kind of how I imagine when they say in books, like his expression darkened or some shit like that. It's, it's this. Um, yeah, so there's all three characters I had. So much fun drawing them. I was having a real bad art vlog before this video and I really think like these characters genuinely just helped me out of this. Uh, so thank you so much for everyone that submitted and I will send these pieces to you. If you need them on email, I'll send them to email. Whichever you like. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.